Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project Tiffin Ordering System and I have developed this project in Node.js and uh, Angular and MySQL. On the Node.js side, uh, I am using Node version 14, Angular version is 8 and MySQL version is 5.6. We are using libraries, uh, Node LPF packages uh, for connecting Node.js with MySQL, right. So for front-end development, I have used HTML, CSS and some of the angular libraries because this is an angular based project right and all of the communication between the angular and node we are doing through the api right so these are uh, and for id i am using visual studio code so for developing both of the project i have used visual studio code for writing all of the codes right so these all technology stacks i have used for developing this project for port uh, Angular is running on port 4200 and a node is worth running on port uh, 8000. Right, so let's start with the functionality, go through that, what we have implemented, what are the functionalities available inside the project. So once you run this project on port 4200, that is the Angular uh, port, then you will get this UI. So this, uh, you can see these, uh, food categories items are coming from the database this is a home page this is about page this is a static page there is nothing dynamic on it this is a food category these all are the food categories and if you click on the food categories then you will be able to see all of the food which belongs to that category right this is a customer login from where you will be able to log in this is a registration from where you will be able to register an account if you don't have user id and password this is a contact us page this is a static contact us page now there is nothing dynamic on it this is a feedback page this is also a static page there is nothing dynamic on it right so let's go and order some food so if i click on the italian if i click on details then i will see the add to cart option from here once you click on the add to cart then there is a restriction inside the project you will not be able to order any items if you don't have the account so the user id is amid that created gmail.com and password is text if you don't have user id and password then you can register from here right from registration so i am logging as a customer so amit at gmail.com once you log inside the system then you will get this dashboard from here you can see home about order now my order space right so on the my order space you will be able to see all of the orders which you have placed earlier right so you can see these all orders you have placed if you click on this arrow icon you will be able to see all of the orders which you have placed earlier order items right now i am going to order some of the foods right so earlier this one add to cart so one item i have added into the cart now non wage there is no non wage items right so wage so details add to cart right so there are two items i have added and then your non wage so again there is no product in non wage chinese foods serve one details add to cart right so three items i have added into the cart right once you click on the checkout then you will be redacted to the payment page if you click on continue adding then you will be redirected to the product page again right so uh, suppose if i want to add more so this one details add to cart so four items i have added but if i want to delete this one you can delete it also from here from the cart if you click on the checkout then it's asking for the card number this is a dummy payment page there is nothing dynamic on it you will enter the dummy pay payment card number and the card name on the card and the type of the card and the expiry date right once you click on the make payment you will see your order number 12 has placed so you can see your order number 12 has placed to total item you have paid is 300 rupees right and once you click on the my orders you will be able to see your order number that is a 12 and if you click on this then you will be able to see the total order items which is available inside this project right also this is a session driven menu you can see my admin is coming here right dashboard is coming here but if you log out then both thing will be disappeared because this is a session driven we are rendering the menu according to the user session right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project 
and as i told you earlier this is a node.js mysql and angular based project so if and this is a mini project which has only a, and only customer functionalities so if you need any enhancement in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching video thank you very much